Hello, and welcome to my review of the Helios Delphin PVD. For those of you who are unfamiliar, Helios is a micro brand based out of Vancouver, Canada that mostly focuses on sporty divers watches. I purchased this watch about two weeks ago. I've worn it every day since, and I have to say, I absolutely love it. First, some technical specs. The case measures in at 43.5 millimeters width, 49 millimeters lug to lug, 22 millimeters lug width, and 15 millimeters thickness. It's also made out of 316L marine grade stainless steel and is rated down to 500 meters, which makes this a proper diver's watch. For added protection, the entire case is PVD coated which gives it this matte black finish and makes the watch incredibly scratch resistant. Over on the underbelly, we have a solid screw down case back with minimal engravings. Personally, I've never cared too much for fancy engravings on a case back as it's something you so rarely see anyway. Moving along, we have a screw down crown with deeply machined serrations which provide a very comfortable grip. On the face of the crown, you can see they've included a raised Helios emblem, the three crescent moons back to back. The case and bezel are nicely rounded, which gave the watch a very modest feel. It appears small for a 43mm, but the minute you pick it up, you realize just how dense it is. The watch has a very solid, robust feel to it. I would feel comfortable taking it anywhere and not having to worry about scratching it or damaging it in any way. Now the bezel on this watch is probably my favorite feature. It has a ceramic insert for added scratch protection, which also gives it a much needed touch of gloss for what is otherwise a very dark watch. It's a 120 click unidirectional bezel, which is machined absolutely perfectly. There is no play in the increments here. As you can see, the marker on top lines up exactly at 12 o'clock and everywhere through the dial, it goes exactly where you want it to go. Another added piece of functionality is the fact that they've added individual minute markers all the way through the bezel. This gives a real good feel for precision. For me, a bezel is the most useful feature on any watch, as it's an easy way of showing lapse time without any added complication to the movement. The crystal is sapphire with an anti-reflective coating on the underside. It has a slight dome to it, but as you can see, it meets very flush with the bezel. Now onto the dial. This dial for me is unusual for a number of reasons. Most divers watches out there try to copy the typical Rolex Submariner in one way or the other, or they try to be so different that they end up being quite overdone. In this watch, They've chosen to keep things simple, and in so doing, they've designed a dive watch which looked totally different from anything else on the market. For most of the hour markers, instead of the typical dots or batons, they've gone with these small, modest triangles, which give it a totally different look altogether. Even the hour hand and minute hands are thin and simple, which make it easier to read the time more precisely. The second hand, which has a graceful sweep to it, has a triangular red accent, which is a welcome splash of color on what is already a very dark, almost military styled watch. All the markers, including the bezel, are outfitted with blue superluminova, which give it a very sporty feel to it. The movement they've used is a Japanese Meota 9015. You'll find that a lot of micro brands use Japanese movements as it helps keep the price down. I found online that a lot of people complain about this movement being noisy, but honestly I don't think it's any louder than a Valju 7750. You can definitely hear and feel the rotor moving sometimes, but for me that's part of the charm of an automatic. As for its accuracy, I set it about 4 days ago and it's lost roughly 10 seconds. I think that's more than acceptable for anything that's not a certified chronometer. This watch presently retails for 750 US, which I think is pretty good value for money. All in all, I'm pretty impressed by its solid build and its attention to detail. I'd highly recommend picking up one. Thanks for watching.